A Springfield woman is at the mercy of the city tonight after a water main break flooded her home. What do you think about this? Wally Aliu takes us inside and find out whether she really has to pay for this damage herself. Listen. You may want to call your insurance company tonight after you see this fighting backstory. I heard something go boom. Last Tuesday, Alicia Hall says she was ankle deep in water in her own home. It was coming all out of here and it was going everywhere. The carpets in the house was soaking wet. It was smelling. Hall says the city was out here working on a water main break when the water started busting through her home. She says the city workers asked her if she had insurance. I said, well, what do my insurance have to do with this? He says, well, we will pay your deductible, but we're not going to pay for the other damages. And I'm thinking in my mind, wait a minute now. This is something you guys created. She called her insurance anyway, and they came out and gave her a quote for about $4,500 and told her they would not cover it because her policy does not include drain and sewer backup. We called around to a couple insurance agents, and turns out that's not that uncommon. Most homeowners' insurance policies will only pay for damage from mechanical breakage, like if your pipes or hot water heater burst. But if you want drain and sewer backup, that's optional coverage that you will have to ask for. I just feel like I was between a rock and a hard place because nobody wanted to pay for the damages that was done to my home. And I just felt like, what am I going to do? We can't stay here because uh, the germs and bacteria and the mold and mildew. Hall and her sister, who has Down syndrome, stayed in the hotel for a week while the water receded. And you almost had an asthma attack, didn't you? Yeah. She's thankful her insurance company paid for that, but now says she needs the city to fix the problem. And what they were doing up here broke my water line, and they expect me to pay for all the damages. In Springfield, Wale Aliu, ABC 22 News. Now, we also reached out to the city of Springfield. No one could go on camera today, but this statement was released. It says the city has passed the claim to its insurance carrier and they will process it.